Hello, boys and girls. Come and join me at the carpet for a circle time. I have something that I would like to share with you today. But before I share my story with you, I have a question I want to ask you, okay? I have some questions. At home, what are some of the safety rules that you have to follow at home? Uh, don't touch lighters. Don't touch lighters, okay. I mean, don't play with lighters. Don't play with lighters, okay. Or you'll get burned. Or you'll get burned, okay. Uh, don't touch knives. Don't touch knives, okay. Without asking for help. Without asking, okay. So what about when you're not at home? What are some of the safety rules when you're not at home? Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to strangers. Okay. I know when I was a kid, my mom would tell me and my sister the same thing. Don't talk to strangers. And if there's an emergency, to call 911. 911. Okay. So today I have a story here that I would like to share with you, okay? It's called Be Careful and Stay Safe by Sherry J. Minners. I want to be safe. I am learning to take care of myself in many situations. One way to stay safe is to listen to grown-ups I trust and follow directions. I think about what I am doing and use things carefully. What is he doing in the picture? Uh, he's in the jelly carefully. What is he? What is he using to put that jelly? Knife. He's using a knife carefully. I can be aware of things that could hurt me. Before I try something, I can find out if it's safe. I stay away from things that are dangerous. I will learn to use some things when I get older. What are some things that young children should avoid using? Uh, glass. Okay, glass. What are some other things around the house that you that you should not use? I forgot what that is. What is this called? A lawnmower. It's to cut the grass. A lawnmower. Mm-hmm. What about the stove? Should you be using the stove? Should you be cooking at the stove? No. Yeah. So you have to use those things when you're older. When I go some when I go someplace with a grown-up or a buddy, I stay with the person. If we lose each other, I can keep calm. I can stay where I am and wait to be found. Someone who can help will be looking for me. So if you get lost, huh? They're in the same place. They're in the same place. So if you get lost in the store, in the mall, or somewhere in a grocery store, who should you call? Who should you seek for help? One nine one. Not nine one one. Police. You should look for police or someone with authority. You should look for a police officer or a security guard. Okay? I can talk to someone who works there. Community helpers usually wear a badge, a name tag, or special clothes. It looks all black when I do when I lean my head up. I can ask for help. Whenever I need it, I can also call for help in an emergency. So when there's, when should you ask for help? When is there a good time to ask for help? When you're climbing on the monkey bars. Okay, when you're climbing on the monkey bars. Can you think of something else that you like do? Homework. Homework, okay. What about like safety situations? When should you ask for help? Okay, all right. You can ask for help to put on roller skate. I like to make new friends. Most people are nice. Still, I don't talk to strangers unless I 
unless I'm with a grown-up I trust. I don't know, I don't know, if I don't know someone or if I don't feel comfortable, I can ignore the person and walk away. If any, if any person does something that doesn't seem safe or right, I can say no, get away to a safe place and tell someone I trust. Who do you trust at home? My mom. That's who you trust? Do you tell your mom everything? Yeah. Who else do you trust? Is there other people in your family Lewis. that you trust? Louis? Okay. Okay, look. Sometimes things might happen that I don't expect. I can plan ahead and be ready for an emergency. I couldn't even see the lead because it was close. Then, if something happens, I may have what I need and people I trust to help me. I know what this is called. What is it? Crackers. Crackers, yeah. Because at the end, where you are. I am learning many ways to keep myself safe. Safe. Stay away from danger. A. Ask for help. F. Follow directions and use things carefully. E. Emergencies. Have a plan. This is the end of the book. When I am careful, I help people around me stay safe too. And that helps us all get along. The end. So, that was a really good book, don't you think? Yeah. Thinking about safety and Wait. thinking about stuff to use and stuff not to use. That was a really good book, right? Wait, Wait what? That's the end of the book. Okay. All right. So. That was a really good book talking about safety and safety procedures and who we should talk to, firefighters, police officers, nurses, doctors, things like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have a quote. I have a little poster here that I want to show you and read to you. Okay. We already know those ones. Yes, we do, and I want you to know them, so I'm going to read them again to you, okay? They're from the book. S, this is safe. S, stay away from danger. A, ask for help. F, follow directions and use things carefully. E, emergencies. Have a plan. Go ahead and pause. So, today, we are going to be creating our own classroom rules. And I am going to write them down here on this board. So when you think of safety and you think of fairness, you have to think of what can people get harmful? What can hurt them? How can they be hurt? Harmful things, okay? If they trip. Yeah, if they trip. So now that you're getting your brain going, what could someone be doing in class that they could trip and fall? Uh, rocks? No, 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 no. What could someone be doing in class? Rocks aren't in the classroom. What could someone be doing in class? Some people be rocks in. Okay, but we're not talking about rocks. I'm asking you about safety rules. What are some of the safety rules in your classroom at your school? Uh, don't hurt other people. Great. So this is our... Safety rules. These are our safety rules. Okay. What was the first rule that you just said out your mouth? What was that? Don't hit other 
Don't hit. So keep your your hands and your feet to yourself. So no hitting other people. No kicking. Okay. What are some other safety rules? What are some other safety rules? That you could think of. Don't run. Correct. No running. Wait. The N looks different because like that. It looks like you. That one looks like an N. Okay. What are some other safety rules you could think of? Remember our little, here, I'm going to hand you the book. Look through the book, and I want you to remember, look through the pages, and I want you to think of some, some more safety rules. Okay. Ride your bike safely. Okay, and what do you use when you ride your bike? Helmet. You do use a helmet. But that's not really a safety rule. We can't make that a rule. We can't force people to use a helmet because even though it keeps them safe, that's not a rule that we can use in our classroom. Who what about this? Toaster. Okay. So what a, we, we don't use toasters in classrooms either. So think and think when you're in school and you're in class with your students and your other and your other friends. You said no hitting, no kicking. No running. I didn't say kicking. I said keep your hands and your feet to yourself. So kicking is part of feet, right? Uh -huh. Alright. So what about respect others? How do you respect others? Talk to me. You listen. That's how you respect people. You respect people by listening. So respect others and we respect people by listening to them even if we don't necessarily agree with what they're saying we can still show respect everyone has an opinion and we can still show respect by listening you hear me we can still show respect by listening what about what's what's something else what's another rule what if what, we think of germs and covid what's another rule yeah so what's another rule we can write on our paper what should everyone do when they leave the bathroom close the door well, flush the toilet what should everyone do before, when they leave the classroom so they don't spread germs what are you supposed to do wash your hands, wash your hands. And that should be a rule. Everyone should wash their hands in the classroom when you come in and out the classroom so we don't spread germs. So I'm going to write, wash your hands. Yep. Wash your hands. This looks like a Z. Z goes this way. That's an S. I just write fast, that's all. Anything else you can think of? What kind of other safety rules should we have? I don't know. Think of the poster. Think of the poster that I just read to you. Stay away from danger. How about really? ask for help? Ask if you don't help. know how to do something, or if you need help using something, ask for help. you should ask an adult for help. So I'm gonna write that on the list. Ask for talk. help. Ask Kate is the diagram. And so, with these safety rules, we all should follow these. I should follow these. I you should, should follow these. And your classmates should follow these safety rules. Even because Andre? Even Andre. Because I don't want anyone getting hurt. Okay? So, now that we have our safety rules. Okay? I want you to 
think of some procedures. What is a safety procedure that you got at home? Do you have a safety plan at home? What's your plan at home if, if, a, fire, if a fire happens at home? Call 911, but are you, are you going to stay in the house while the fire is going on? So where are you going to go? You're going to go outside, right? Okay, so I'm going to discuss with you today our safety procedure here, okay? So if a fire breaks out or if we need to get out of the school immediately for any type of explosion or bomb or anything like that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up very quickly. And once everyone gets in line, we're going to go outside. And when we go outside, you're supposed to stay in line. So that way the teacher can do a head count. She needs to make sure how many students she has in her line. Because if one student is missing, then guess what? We're not going to go outside. It's not that we're not going to go outside. That student could be in danger. If we're trying to get out of the building and the student is missing, then we're going to have to find that student, right? So when we get outside, the teacher does a head count. And after she does a head count, then someone, an adult, will activate the emergency system where the police, the fire department, or the ambulance will come over to the school and make sure that everything is okay before we can go back inside the building. Okay, so what are our safety procedures? What did I say that we were going to do? If a fire breaks out, and if you're missing someone. Okay, so what's the first word? What did I say? We're going to line up quickly. Okay, so say line up quickly. Line up quickly. Second rule is we're going to go outside. Second rule is we're going to go outside. Okay, and once we're outside, what is the teacher going to do? Count heads. Count heads and make sure she has the right amount of students. Then what's going to happen next? Who's going to call the emergency response? A grown-up. A grown-up's going to call the emergency response. So, and after the grown-up calls the emergency response and they come and they see that everything is safe, then, then what's going to happen after everything is safe? We can go back in. Go back in. Correct. All right. I think you did a good job. High five. All right. We did a good job making our rules, everything. Okay. So, I'm going to end with this. It is very important that you know safety procedures and follow safety rules. These guidelines are in place to help you, others, and property to help us stay safe. Okay? Um, it is our job, it's my job as a teacher to keep you safe. And it is your job as the student to follow my directions and to respect others and to respect school property, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna transition you to the next activity. And so before I transition you to the next activity, I want you to tell me one rule. I want you to tell me one rule. Safety rule. One, tell me one safety rule, and then I want you to go line up, okay? That could have been on our safety list. You could have put that on here. That's great. All right, that'll work. Go ahead and go line up. All right, and I will see you later. And who's going to lead us? Yeah.